It is well known that many kinds of animals live together in social groups. Lions live together in a pride, elephants in a herd and orcas in a pod. Even us humans tend to live together in groups, be it with family or friends. By grouping together, we improve our chances of survival through cooperation, support and teamwork. And no animal demonstrates this better than the wolf. Alone, the wolf leads a difficult life. When grouped in a pack, however, they become one of the most social and efficient carnivores on the planet. Wolf packs are like extended families. The average pack consists of between half a dozen to a dozen individual wolves. The wolves themselves will rank themselves in a hierarchy. The most dominant and or intelligent male and female are known as the alphas. These two will often lead the pack in a hunt, are the first allowed to eat any food, and are the only two in the pack that will mate and breed. When a wolf finds a mate, they usually stay together for life. The other members of the pack will usually be related to the alpha pair, probably being their pups over several years. After the alphas, you have the betas, who are the second to eat any food. The hierarchy structure of the pack continues until you get to the omega, who is the lowest ranking wolf of the pack. The Omega Wolf will be the last to eat any food and is often seen as the weakest, which leads to the others sometimes bullying the wolf when stressed or frustrated and using him or her as a scapegoat. The Omega Wolf is also the wolf that tends to play the most and comes across as more puppy than wolf. The ranking of wolves can change as they can challenge each other to take the higher ranking. Sometimes this will be based on personality and attitude, but other times this can result in fighting. Despite this hierarchy system of the pack, which is based on dominance and sometimes aggression, wolves do show a lot of care and nurture for the rest of their pack. They have been known to take care of the sick and injured, and in some cases will sacrifice themselves for others. The pack is built on a layer of deep affection for another. It is these strong bonds that help them to be so efficient as team players. Wolf packs can prey upon much larger animals such as elk when working together and using group tactics can increase the chance of a successful hunt. Every year, early in the spring, the alphas will mate and produce the next generation of pups. The whole pack will come together to help raise the newborns, protecting them, feeding them and teaching them through methods such as playing. When the pups become older, they will join the rankings of the pack until one day they might decide to leave. Sometimes wolves are driven out, sometimes they leave by choice, and when they do, they go off into the wilderness to find a mate and start a new pack of their own. <laughs>